Hey friends, it's Rachel and today we are doing our at home brow lamination. Finally, you guys have been asking how I laminated my brows at home last time and I decided to film it for you so you can see the whole process. I do not recommend following my instructions because clearly I am not an expert in this field. However, we are going through a pandemic right now and maybe you can't or are not comfortable with or don't have the means to go and get your brows done professionally. So this is how I do it at home. Here are my natural brows, very straight Asian brows. They also grow downward. So I actually just want them to look just a little bit fluffier and thicker. I don't want to go as crazy as I did the last couple of times, really thick, bushy brow. Just a little bit extra and also just to get a little bit more control out of my brows. So I'm going to need a lash lift kit. I picked this one up from Amazon. Um, yeah, it's an Amazon kit. That's about as much as you can expect from it. This is what it looks like. So it has quite a few steps. It's essentially just a perming process, which means it's going to break down the bonds of the hair and then reform them in the shape that you want. So I'm going to start by cleansing the brows. There's nothing on them, but they do recommend that you give a good cleanse first with the cleansing solution. With a Q-tip. In case there's any residual oils or skincare on them. Now that they're nice and clean and dry, I'm going to use the lash glue. This is literally says false lash glue on it. So you can use your lash glue if you have a really nice, strong, tacky glue. I only have black glue, so I'm gonna use the one that came in the kit. This is probably the most tedious part of the perming process is getting the hairs nice and stuck in the shape that you want them to lay in. So I'm gonna start the very front part and I think that's the easiest way to do it is to work in sections. And I can't remember which tool worked best for me so I'm going to use a clean spoolie. So it does look super crazy at first, but that is one brow done. And you can see I've just pushed it in the direction that I want it to sit. Don't worry too much about the very ends of them because you can just style them after they're completely done. But you just want to make sure the hairs are really flat and straightened in the direction that you want the hairs to be pointing. I probably should have tweezed my brows before coming <laughs> this close to you guys in a brow video, but what are you gonna do? Pressing them flat as I go to make sure that they are nice and straight and smooth. You don't want them to be squiggly because they will end up perming in that way. Okay, this is the shape I'm going with. Again, it's not the final brow, it's just the directions that I want the hair to go in. I'm gonna go in with my number one perm solution now. Before I apply, I'm just getting some cling wrap ready because this goes straight over the top of the brows after we've applied the perming solution to keep them nice and flat and in place. It smells so bad. It literally does smell like perm solution. Like if you've ever been to a salon when someone's getting their hair permed, Oh, she smells rotten. So I'm going to pop that straight over the glued down brows. I'm going to be quite generous with the product because we want to make sure every hair is well saturated. Then with your cling wrap, go very nice and tight because you want the brows to lay, lay, lay nice and flat. Essentially, they're going to turn to like jelly. Basically, the uh, bonds of your hair are going to be broken down, so they will be very soft and jelly-like. So you want to make sure that the brows are sitting exactly where you want them to be. 
um, and this just flattens them out into the shape that you want them to sit. So I'm gonna leave that. It says 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna pull it at eight. I don't wanna fry my brows and I will see you then. Okay, I'm back. I've gotten another piece of Glad Wrap ready because now we are going to remove this and apply the next solution. So I'm gonna use a clean cotton tip, Q-tip, whatever you call this, and get rid of all that perming solution. Gently but firmly removing that because your brows are in a bit of a fragile state right now, but you want to make sure you get it all off before you do the next step. Next step is fixation. So it's what's going to re-bond those hair structures into the shape that you want them to be in. Again, I'm gonna make sure I'm completely saturating each hair. And if you've done the first step right, they should still be in that shape that you glued them down in. So they still should be glued firmly. If not, give them a little brush in the direction you want them to go because this is the part that's going to set them in place. Again, nice and tightly wrapped. And I will see you in, oh, it says 10 to 12 minutes, eight minutes again. All right, time to take this off. You're gonna notice that your brows look way plumper, like the hairs look thicker and they look much more full than before. So I'm going to get rid of all that lotion. And go in with the cleanser and really remove all the product. You don't want anything left. And by this stage, the glue should have broken down already. If not, just make sure you're getting it all off. Lucky last step guys, this is the nutrition step, which I'm guessing is just a bunch of nice oils and conditioning, conditioning things. <laughs> I can't talk today, when can I ever talk? And you're not allowed to wet your brows for 24 hours, so after this I'm just going to brush them in the shape that I like and leave them. So no washing your face, no sweating and going to the gym, no saunas, no rain, <laughs> nothing like that. And what I can say is this time, I think this is the best my brows have felt after brow lamination. They still feel nice and soft. The very first time I got them done professionally, they felt so crispy and fried and all the like little finer hairs were actually like frazzled. You could see them like all crinkled because they were over processed, which um, maybe we just chatted too much. But the second time I got it done, well, I did it myself at home. They turned out a little crispy, but definitely not as bad as the first time. And this time round, they feel great. They feel so good. I am very, very pleased. All right, guys, that is it. This is the final eyebrow shape. What do you guys think? I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think they look super natural, just that little bit fluffier, a little bit neater than my normal eyebrows. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you. If you guys asked how I do my brow lamination at home, if you wanna hang out every day, I post on Instagram every single day. And if not, I will see you on my next video. I love you all so much. Mwah.